A woman in her feminine era is not a woman that chases, is not a woman that begs, is not a woman that worries about outcomes, not a woman that's insecure. Equality for women coming in the form of splitting bills and financial hyper-independence. That they really cared about equality, why isn't there state funding for every woman to be able to freeze her eggs? When it currently costs thousands of dollars to do so and isn't covered by most insurance companies. Because whether or not you want to admit it, your biological clock has an impact on where you live, who you settle down with, when you settle down, and the type of careers you choose. It literally dictates every aspect of your life. So no, until we get some real benefits around here, we're not splitting bills with you, sir. You can take this check. If you want to become a high value woman, you absolutely need to be doing these three things. Now, spoiler alert, it has nothing to do with the designer bags in your closet, the degrees on your wall, the money in your bank account, and it's also more than just what you look like. No, being a high value woman is a lifestyle. It's a way of living. And if you're not doing this, then unfortunately you cannot claim that title. I don't make the rules. Well, I guess I kind of do. Okay, so the first thing a high value woman does is she is, ooh, she is comfortable shifting into her feminine energy and she doesn't look at it as a weakness. And when I say feminine energy, I'm not talking about being submissive. I'm talking about being warm, sensual, receiving, nurturing, being affectionate, and letting other people take the lead. Which brings me to number two. High value women practice self-care because they understand that if you wanna nurture someone else, you have to nurture yourself first. When I say self-care, I'm not talking about getting eyelash extensions. I'm talking about taking care of your health. Like, are you going to the gym? Are you eating healthy foods? Are you meditating? Are you sleeping eight hours? Because self-care is self-respect and the most respected women are the ones who respect and prioritize themselves which brings me to number three a high value woman not only knows her worth but she also upholds her standards for example she doesn't ignore red flags she doesn't accept the bare minimum she's not going over to just any guy's house because it's the only guy asking her out she also doesn't date low value men or act maliciously toward other women because these types of women move through life with an air of grace follow for more advice and comment if you want to see her find me on the dating apps. Same reason why Lamborghinis don't do car commercials. Because their target audience is not sitting on the couch. And my target audience is not going to be on the fucking dating apps. It's a high value woman looking for something real and serious. I'm going to find that on the dating apps, which has obliterated the dating culture. Finally deleted them. I know my worth. So I've been asked, how can you raise your value as a woman? And there are a number of things you can do. In fact, I talk about three common ways women work to raise their value. But I want to share just one simple thing. It's simple, but it's not easy that every woman can do and, and something that we need to do. And in the iconic womanhood circle, which is my coaching community, where women gather, where we are connected and we meet every day and kind of talk about how we can live our best life and the different things we can do in every facet of our lives. We are actually working on this from today, right? Yesterday, we started talking about it first day of the year. And today we are kicking it into high gear. And I'm going to share this with you guys on TikTok. So here's the thing that you can do if you want to raise your value. Number one, a simple thing, not easy, simple, raise your standards, raise your standards for what you will accept going forward period. Raise your standards in your personal relationships, professional relationships, for vendors, for platonic, whatever it is. Raise your standards. Stop tolerating the intolerable. Stop managing the unmanageable. Stop settling for the bare minimum. Stop settling for low effort. Be willing to say no, right? So that you can say yes to what you really want. But here's the thing I really want to tell you. A lot of women say that they've raised their standards and they're telling everybody what they will and will not accept and how they are this this year, this is a new year, and I'm not accepting less anymore. But let me tell you something really critical. It doesn't matter what you say if you are accepting less from yourself. Because if you say I'm not accepting less from other people, but really you tell yourself I'm going to do this, like I'm going to get up and go to the gym and then you don't go do it or you make a promise to yourself and you break your own promise to yourself. Let me tell you, you are negating every other thing in your life. You are negating your word because if you can't keep your own standards for yourself, then what you are essentially saying energetically and inviting is you're inviting people who won't keep your standards. They won't hold your standards because you yourself aren't holding them. So the first place you have to raise your standards is within yourself. 
to say, from this moment on, I am going to do X, Y, Z. So for example, I'm going to honor my own word. I am not going to play myself cheap. For example, for me, I invest heavily in myself. And so I expect and attract people who pour into me, people who want to invest in me, people who want to give to me because I give to myself. I don't nickel and dime myself. I'm not cheap with myself. So you have to start being- If you want to transform yourself into a high value woman, follow these three steps. My client, Sash, inspired me to do this post because she has been using the workshop available for download at the very top of my page to transform her self-concept into a high value woman, which has gone on her a six-figure salary already this year plus two of her exes that came back treating her like a queen and she gets to pick and choose who she wants out of them step number one you are creating the brand new identity you are the woman who is loved respected adored and cherished everywhere that she goes you've accepted that low vibrational people cannot enter your reality your self-worth and your boundaries are high as fuck and nobody can bring you down. These are the new thought patterns she was consistently engraving into her subconscious mind. Number two, you are keeping all promises that you have made to yourself. Not only does keeping promises to yourself raise your self-confidence, but it allows you to trust yourself and your decision-making skills. So if you've been promising yourself that you're going to manifest something, you need to stick to the script and live in the end state dominantly. And step number three is creating boundaries that are through the roof. If something feels off, then your answer is no. If something isn't resonating with you and your body's telling you, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to be a people pleaser. I want to say no, say no. If it's not a fuck yes, it's a fuck no. A lot of people operate out of being a people pleaser, which just shows your own wounds and internal scars that you have. And you want to control how people see you so that they like you. A high value person does not people please. They value themselves and they do not need any external validation. Follow me for part two. Three steps to becoming a high value woman. Number one, create a new identity, okay? A brand new identity. You are respected, you are loved, you are adored by everyone. You do not let low vibrational people come into your life because your standards and your boundaries are so high that you don't let anyone bring you down, okay? Number two, keep the promises that you make to yourself. Not only is it going to gain your self confidence, but it's also going to make a trust between your decision making skills. Number three, set high boundaries and standards okay if something feels off or you just don't want to do it then it's a no okay basically if it's not a fuck yes then it's a fuck no because high value people they do not people please because they don't need others to validate themselves Woman, if you can't get a man to spend money on you then clearly you're doing something wrong and you need to enroll in high value woman 101 to change that up understand this the more money a man spends on you is the more he's going to fall for you because now he's invested a man can take a loss anywhere but them pockets